Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Xanadu. We're going to give folks just one or two more minutes to join us, and then we will get started on our FlexEd webinar about the updates to American government courseware. So we will get started in about a minute. All right, everybody. Well, it is 11.01 Eastern time, so we are going to get started. We know your time is valuable, so we are going to uh, blow through all these slides in 30 minutes or less. Uh, my name is Joyce Mueller. I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Xanadu, and I am joined by Mike Kubiak, who is our Higher Education Product Manager. And today we're going to talk to you about an exciting update to our American government courseware, that entails um, hot off the presses updates from the 2022 midterm elections. Um, so let me just walk through a little bit about what we'll cover today. So if we can go to the next slide, I'll give you a brief overview of Xanadu. I'll talk about our commitment to affordability, and then I'll turn it over to Mike to show you some specific examples of FlexEd and the updates that we're incorporating into our FlexEd platform. So let's move on and just talk a little bit about Xanadu. So Xanadu has been around since 1999, and we're focused on spreading the knowledge and content. Um, we offer custom development as well as fulfillment services across both K-12 and higher education. And we have a broad scale. So we serve more than 1,800 colleges and universities. We're in all 50 states. And our products and services touch the lives of 2 million students every single year, and we're very proud of that. Um, Xanadu is part of the Scolaris Learning Portfolio of Educational Products and Services Companies. We're joined by Education Elements, which does K-12 um, school consulting, as well as PLC focusing on data and school improvement. And then Tripod, which is a well-respected data measurement instrument for um, school cultures for both parents, students, and teachers. So we're excited to be part of the Scolaris Learning Portfolio that covers a broad range of products and services across the education ecosystem. So let's move on a little bit more and talk specifically about what Xanadu is to the higher education market. So we are custom content experts, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, and you'll see examples of that as Mike walks through our content for American government. We're committed to student affordability. This is our DNA, this is what makes us tick. We wanna get this great quality content to students at a price that they can afford. We're a full service and customer oriented, so there's no sacrifices with that affordability piece. And we're also the preferred print partner for many content creators. So Xanadu is unique in that we are a full service publishing house, but we also provide all the other services. And then finally, Xanadu really started in the campus bookstore area. So we're advocates and partners with campus bookstores, again, across the country. So let's keep going through our presentation today. And um, I wanna just, before I hand it over to Mike to get into the specifics of American government and then the updates for that, I wanna talk a little bit about affordability. So we can go to the next one. So we talked to faculty and we asked them, what's important when you're considering course materials, particularly if you're looking to save money for your students? 57% said affordability is top of mind. But then followed closely behind was quality, increased engagement, and outcomes. So while affordability is important, we completely understand that professors need quality content and content that's going to be interesting and engaging to students. And as we talk a little bit about the FlexEd courseware, that's what that is all about. It's an affordable price point, but Xanadu curates all of the content to make sure that it's very high quality and that it's also engaging. We can go to the next slide. Um, so the other piece is we know when you're looking at new course materials or affordability initiatives or whatever might be going on, there are challenges to um, transitioning to these new materials. It takes a lot of time. And this was something that in the same survey, faculty really said, I'm really concerned about how much time it takes to transition. I have to build new slides and do all of these things, new assessments. Um, so the tra transition time we understand is a big concern. Of course, quality, we mentioned that before. 
but academic institutions are really focused on quality. They want to make sure students have top-notch content. And then relevance. Relevant content is important. There's so much content out there, particularly in the affordability space, that finding the content that's both quality but relevant to exactly what you're teaching can be a challenge. And it can also tie into that transition time. So let's go into the next thing, and I'll talk a little bit about how Xanadu can help overcome some of these challenges. So we pride ourselves on being great partners with institutions as well as individual faculty members. So these are the five pillars that Xanadu approaches the higher ed market with. So we're focused, as I've said many times already in our first few minutes together, we're focused on affordability. To achieve that, we use a variety of sources, but we also make sure that we're curating content that has high quality. So using a variety of sources allows us to give faculty exactly what they want. One source might be a little bit more expensive and it might be paired with a source that's free. So it brings the overall price down. And this is something that Xanadu uh, brings expertise to the table. We're all about customization. The cool thing with Xanadu is we are a large organization with a lot of resources and a lot of expertise, but we're small enough that we can be nimble. We can do customization at any scale, whether it's a full-blown large custom first-year experience course or just some tweaks to an existing course that you wanna really make your own. We can give that customization to you. We're also focused on affordability. All of our products from courseware to custom publishing are incredibly flexible. And because of that nimble that I mentioned earlier, we can often do fast turn projects. So if you're looking for something for the winter term that's gonna start right in January, certainly give us a call and we can find a way to make that happen. Um, we bring to the table ex expertise. So this is what our editorial team does all the time. We're always looking for this content. We do also copyright clearance to make sure that that's all sorted out. And then finally, um, formatting and publishing, because we know you don't wanna have to worry about that. You just want your materials to the students in the way they want, which brings us to distribution. We can distribute your materials digitally via e-reader. We have a robust flex ed courseware that Mike's gonna show you in a moment, but then we also offer traditional print. Then finally, our commitment is to our faculty and to our customers. Xanadu, again, because we're small, we offer superior customer service. We will set up courses for you, we'll onboard for you, we'll have ongoing support. So again, whatever you need to make you successful is what Xanadu is all about. So before we move from this slide, just a couple examples of things that we do um, on that custom front. We'll do state and local content, um, also reading guides for every chapter within our Flex Ed courses. And what we're gonna talk about today is 22, 2022 updates to our American government course. So you wanna get the most relevant up-to-date materials for your students. We've already taken the time, engaged subject matter experts, and baked this into our American government courseware. So starting in January, they've got that up-to-date material that they need. So let's go to the next slide and I will get ready to turn it over to Mike. So we partner with institutions and faculty members and our mission is to provide customizable and affordable, affordable materials for your course. So the last thing that I'll say is at the end of the day, Xanadu is all about students. We wanna get students materials that they can afford, materials they're excited about, and materials that are relevant and high quality to support their learning and education. So thanks for um, listening to the overview of Xanadu and our commitment to affordability. But now I'll turn it over to Mike, who's gonna talk you through the specifics of what we're offering right now with American government and the updates following the 2022 elections. Thanks for joining us and I'll hand it over to Mike. Great, thanks so much, Joyce. Thanks for the, the wonderful introduction and uh, sharing Xanadu's commitment to affordability and customization. The, that segue was perfect as we think about everything that we do here being a student first. And FlexEd, as Joyce mentioned, is a really important example of that for us. Um, as we think about FlexEd as digital courseware, um, there are some really important benefits for student engagement and student learning. Um, as Joyce uh, highlighted so nicely, affordability is critical. And uh, the 
the price point for our flex ed courses is $35 for students. So um, as you all know well, um, that is a, a much lower price than many of the uh, leading competitive products out there. And our commitment at Xanadu is to always keep that price low for students. So as Joyce mentioned, they're getting the highest quality materials um, at a very affordable price. Um, it, uh, FlexEd is designed to integrate with all uh, leading learning management systems. So uh, we do this in a couple different ways. We, we develop videos and, um, and tools to make that integration seamless uh, for both Canvas and Blackboard. That includes single sign-on and gradebook syncing, um, as, as well as uh, other LMSs uh, as well, of course, including uh, Moodle, Sakai, um, uh, D2L, um, uh, basically any uh, any that are out there, uh, we, we can uh, we can work well with and ensure integration. Um, our team is also, as Joyce mentioned, you know we are committed to best-in-class support for for you as our partners, and so that type of LMS integration is the kind of support that that we offer through a, a, you know a Zoom with your your IT team, for example, or anything that we can do to help. Uh, on the initial integration and process, and then in future semesters as well, ensuring that is seamless for, for you and your students. Um, a couple other really special features of FlexEd are, as Joyce mentioned, our subject matter experts uh, curate all of our content, and that includes short, engaging videos that align with the key concepts for each chapter. Um, that's a real, um, uh, a real hallmark of the updated content that we'll be we'll be looking at together today. Um, but that applies for all of our con all of our content as well. It aligns with the uh, the chapter sections in the OpenStax textbooks, for example. So every section has um, an introductory video or two. Um, and those can also be edited, um, uh, adjusted if you have other videos that, that you like. So the point of customization of FlexEd is, um, is, is, uh, um, is what we really strive for. Um, and then I think the last thing I'd mention around student success is uh, a range of study materials that are engaging for students that uh, similar to the videos, you know, keep them in the platform, going through the material, um, help them uh, both practice and then also as it moves towards assessment, um, you know, there's a, a range of graded content as well that you can, you can choose from as the instructor. Uh, we refer to that as learn, practice, assess in the, the FlexEd uh, pedagogy. And then I, as I mentioned, uh, you'll notice for instructors, um, a set of aligned features and benefits uh, for, for you. Um, again, that importance of affordability, but ensuring that the transition is efficient and that we can do a lot of that heavy lifting on, on our end. So that, as Joyce mentioned, that challenge of, of time um, is something that, um, that we, can, we can eliminate for, for you. Um, especially knowing that the quick turnaround to next semester. Um, a few other things that are, are really valuable to you. One is uh, every chapter has a set of, uh, of lecture slides that you can use however you would like. You could uh, make those available to students before class, after class, however, however you would like them to have access to those kinds of materials. Um, you have total control over that. Um, and then a really, really impressive um, and regularly updated assessment item bank um, you can count on um, uh, roughly 50 questions per chapter that are set to be auto graded. We'll look at a few examples of those together in a, in a moment. Um, and then uh, the, the interface is really user friendly. And again, we'll look at some uh, some examples in a moment of the actual uh, the, the actual platform. Uh, but we refer to it as you know as DIY. So again, we uh, will help on the initial setup. But if you want to go in and make any edits or adjustments yourself, um, it is quite easy to do that. Um, because it's also a very clean and user-friendly interface, um, it's very mobile-friendly. And as, as I'm sure you all know well, uh, an increasing number of students are doing the majority of their coursework on their smartphones or, or tablets, certainly, um, and FlexEd is, um, is designed for that. Um, and as I touched on already, and Joyce said so well, uh, Xanadu's commitment is to support around initial setup and, um, and, and your ongoing support as well throughout the semester and semester by semester too. Uh, as Joyce mentioned, you know, the American government flex ed update is, um, is a real priority for us at Xanadu this semester. Um, you know, we, we recognized uh, a need because the 
uh, American government OpenStax book is, you know, is one of the more popular OpenStax textbooks for those of you on, on the line today that might be using it already. Um, you know, we're, we're always anxious to hear your feedback on, on the content and, and, and what you find most valuable in the textbook. Uh, the third edition was printed in the summer of 2021. So uh, what, what we recognized was an opportunity here with the, with the midterm election and uh, of course some of the, uh, you know, the unprecedented changes that we're seeing coming out of the election a need for uh, some some important um, up, you know, updated content to um, to make um, to make the textbook even more relevant for for uh, for you and your students and to prevent you from having to do that work yourself as the instructor. So that was our our big goal. For anyone that's not as familiar with the uh, the OpenStax American Government textbook, um, it's it's uh, a, a, an incredibly rigorous textbook. It covers the full progression. Um, from you know, as we think about kind of the, you know uh, the uh, foundational design elements of, of the country at its founding, um, on through the range of, uh, of avenues to political participation for individuals and groups, um, and then uh, you know really thorough coverage of political structures um, that constitute American government in full. So um, it's it's, um, uh, it's 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 really strong content that that we have to um, to incorporate here. And now speaking of the, the updates, uh, in specific, we wanted to give you a sense of exactly what's updated. Um, and, um, and as we're going through all of this too, we wanted to share some, some highlights, some screenshots with you today. But please also know that coming out of um, today's webinar, our team is available to give you um, a much fuller demo um, of all of these updates. So, um, so you can see them and, and ask, ask any questions that you have. Um, as well as to set you up with an instructor account so you can go through and explore it on, on your own as well. So um, please view today as a, as a bit of a, 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 you know, a, a toe in the water. Um, and so there are four particular chapters that our subject matter experts identified as, um, as most important to update coming out of the midterms. Uh, chapter seven on voting and elections, which we'll look at a few examples of together uh, here today. Chapter 11, Congress, um, as, as we all know, given um, the importance of, um, of, of the election results there, um, you know, thinking, for example, with uh, the leadership elections uh, tomorrow, you know, as we think about Hakeem Jeffries likely becoming Speaker of the House and just, you know, the importance of, of, of him as an African-American man and what that means for, uh, for us as a country, making sure those kinds of, of important updates are reflected in the, in the content. Um, OpenStax similarly has a real commitment to diversity and equity and inclusion. So uh, all of the updates that we're making for these four chapters carry that thread through of, of diversity and, and representation and ensuring you know, the full story of, of our government is told. Um, and then the court says, as we know, given uh, recent cases this year, how critical uh, those decisions have been and the implications for the election. Um, and then chapter 14, as Joyce mentioned earlier, state and local government will make, uh, will make some across the board updates to chapter 14. And then that's also an area where you may want to collaborate with us to identify some additional uh, uh, customization that you might like added given your, um, your, your local and state context. Uh, here where we are in Michigan, there were some important changes to um, our legislature and it flipped back to, uh, to democratic rule. Um, so that would be the, the kind of thing that we would we would be sure to update um, for uh, for instructors here in Michigan if, if that was important for you. Um, and um, and so what um, just to touch on again really briefly a, a couple headlines around you know the the overall content in Flex Ed. Um, I, the goal is for it to be um, very engaging for students to cover um, key concepts as well as opportunities to put those those concepts into practice and action through things like discussion boards. And as I mentioned earlier, a range of practice items, um, the slides and, and reading guides as Joyce mentioned, which are a new addition for us in Flex Ed and a range of auto graded assessments. Um, and then certainly the, um, the platform being easy to use and intuitive. Uh, one thing we'd love to show you in the demo and, and follow up um, is the dashboard that you have access to as an instructor that provides you real-time data and analytics uh, around student engagement and success. And, and we're, we're really proud of, um, of that dashboard and its functionality. And it's, it's one of the, the most popular features as, as, uh, as, we, as we hear from, from instructors like yourselves. 
So I wanted to uh, wanted to share with you just uh, you know a, a quick a quick sense of what this actually looks like in, in action. So um, the what you'll see on your screen here is the the home page when you first uh, log into the FlexEd American Government course. Uh, you'll notice that the midterm election update is is clearly marked there in the title. Um, this is another example of the the title can be edited to to match your course title, of course, your name as the instructor. Um, imagine all of the text here being fully fully editable, so it's uh, it's set up in exactly the way that you want. If you have the LMS integration in place, you will come right from your LMS into uh, this page here. This is what your students would see um, in, once they once they click through from from the LMS. Um, if we were to continue scrolling down below, you would see every chapter here, beginning with chapter one uh, all the way through 17. Um, and then the menu tab up on the left is how you can you and your students can navigate through uh, all of uh, all of FlexEd. And then there's a help button at the top that gets you and your students real time support from from our team um, and some other great features there, including uh, direct access to the study center, calendar, messages, um, all of that good stuff. So here's a couple, uh, just a couple screenshots of, of once you click into a given chapter, uh, what you'll see. So uh, you'll first see um, the uh, the introductory section. So what's uh, denoted by the light bulbs here. Uh, each of these would be a brief text summary, and then the videos that we had talked about before, um, and then uh, also this, the reading guide here. Um, and then if we were to continue scrolling down, what you would see is uh, over here on the right side. Uh, once you get through the readings. Uh, I couldn't fit it all on one page. Uh, you'll get into the practice activities, discussion board, homework, slides, and assessments. Um, one key thing to note here is, you know, we like to think about FlexEd as really a buffet for you and, and uh, to choose from. So all of these things are built in um, in the initial version. But if there were any of these items that you did not want to use in full or only use particular items of or rename, for instance, Again, you have total control over that um, and your students will only see the items that you want them to see. So um, this is, you could think of this as the starting point and then our, uh, our team works with you to decide exactly which of these items you want included and how you'd like them labeled and when you want them to appear for your students throughout the course, et cetera. But every chapter has this, this similar layout for consistency for, for you and your students. Uh, we wanted to share with you a couple examples of, of what these actual uh, uh, midterm election updates look like. So um, as we were to go into a reading section, this is chapter seven as an example here, you'll see that um, we have Pete uh, Buttigieg uh, at the top and um, you know, this content is, is from the OpenStax textbook, that, that image there, for example. And then as you scroll down though, what's, uh, what's in uh, the red or, or pink outline there is the content that we've added in FlexEd. So um, just in case it's a little bit hard for anyone to read on the screen here, uh, I'll, I'll just read a couple sentences. Uh, we have written here, nearly everyone acknowledges that presidential elections are important, but some of the most significant changes in American politics actually happen in the years in which no one is running for president. Midterm elections, which take place two years after the presidential elections can change the composition of the Senate and the House in 2022, the Democrats nearly maintained control of the Senate and lost control of the House. This may make it more difficult for President Biden to keep the campaign promises he made in 2020, such as relieving student loan debt. This chapter will explore the fundamentals of voting. Um, so again, really a timely and important update there and an example of what you can expect to see in, in all four of the updated chapters. Um, Here's one other example from chapter seven um, that speaks to the impact of the, uh, the Supreme Court decision um, and, uh, and Roe. And I think what we, what we found particularly um, uh, helpful here are some of the data points that speak to uh, polling results and, um, and state specific data as well. So it feels not just very timely, but, um, but also uh, certainly very relevant to um, to, uh, to students and, and students as, as voters. Um, and um, this is another great example of that there. You'll also notice down below, that's what the videos that are embedded look like. So that's, uh, that's an example of that there. Uh, we, Joyce mentioned earlier, you know, we, we added a reading guide in every chapter, which we're very excited about. We found that reading guides, particularly for, you know, uh, you know uh, larger textbooks where there's a lot of complex uh, uh, material, having a reading guide built in that allows students to have some questions and prompts as they go through 
um, has has been really valuable for um, for them to be active readers and to to progress through it. Um, so that's also a new addition that you can count on having for next semester is a reading guide for every one of the 17 chapters. Um, and this is the, the format here. You'll see that it's it's set up to be a PDF so students can uh, either fill it out directly uh, digitally in Flex Ed, or if they wanted to print it and have it in hard copy and write on, um, they can click the uh, link up above here to download the document. So, um, so that's um, that's the structure of the, the reading guide. You'll notice, for example, the chapter seven guide is five pages. So we've tried to be both thorough, but not to make it too overwhelming for students. Um, Open-ended questions. And then at the end of each reading guide, uh, each chapter, there's a, a table that has uh, uh, key, uh, key terms and concepts uh, with students to fill in the definition. So uh, a nice combination there of, uh, of, of, of all of the key, key reading content. Uh, and then finally, we wanted to um, give you one other quick update. Our, um, in terms of overall FlexEd functionality, we spent a lot of time this year thinking about what types of new question types would be most useful uh, for the government course. And so um, as one example here, you'll see uh, a question on the 10th Amendment. And we've added some features like drag and drop items. So um, these can be used both for practice assessments as well as graded assessments. And, this example here is actually set up to be a graded assessment that, that comes at the um, in a chapter exam. Um, and so we, we've tried our best to build in these kinds of items that, um, you know, again, promote student engagement, make them really, uh, you know, think through the items and, um, and, and leverage the FlexEd technology. So um, we can show you some more examples of that um, in the, the, the follow-up demo as well. Um, and with that, um, I would just highlight again, um, you know, the the um, the added content, um, and um, you know, we're really excited about these uh, these four chapters. And um, and I mentioned earlier, you know, the idea of continuously updating FlexEd. So every semester and every year, we are continuously updating uh, items as well. The assessment bank continues to grow. Uh, as an example, those. Uh, those items uh, I just uh, we just looked at together. So um, you can count on uh, this this midterm update given its importance. And then uh, if you use FlexEd in the future in future years, you can count on um, you know kind of our, our regular ongoing commitment to uh, to adding content for you as well. Um, so with that, we're, uh, I'm going to stop there. Um, we'd love to spend a couple minutes um, as we close with any questions that came in, Joyce. Thanks, Mike. I'm just looking in the chat. And, and the first question that came up is, um, we talked a lot about customization. And how much does it cost the faculty or the institution when we're customizing FlexEd? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, the, the answer is zero cost. Uh, so that is included in the support that Xanadu provides around the initial uh, setup and customization support. And the, the only cost is that, that $35 price to students. Um, the one other quick note we'll mention, you know, Joyce mentioned we work closely with bookstores. If, um, if that's your preference, students can always pay directly in Flex Ed, the $35 uh, fee. And then we always uh, offer a 14-day trial period at the start of the semester to ensure students have access on day one. So we, we want to make sure you and your students are, uh, are set up and ready to go and, and cost is not a barrier. That's fantastic. So the other question that came up around customization was that of timing. So we are looking right at December 1st and um, somebody is, is looking at starting a class in the winter. And is there still time to do some customization of FlexEd to meet that specific syllabus for a course that starts in January? And I think that'll probably be the last question that we've got time for today. So we'll end with that one, Mike. Oh, thank you, Joyce. That's uh, another great question. Uh, yes, absolutely. And that was one of the reasons we wanted to do the webinar now so that we could both share with you the, the four chapters that are updated and, and begin those planning conversations with you to just decide what other customized content you would like to see added so that it lines up with your course. Um, please reach out to us um, and, and we can continue those conversations. We're also happy to look over your syllabus from, from prior semesters and think together about, um, about what other items uh, uh, would, would be well suited for, uh, for some of that additional customization.
That's wonderful. Thanks, Mike. And thanks for all that great information. So we hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Xanadu, about FlexEd, and um, the opportunity to give your students some hot off the presses relevant content for American government starting very soon. Um, you can see our contact information there um, as well as our website. So if you want any more information, please reach out to either Mike or myself and we're happy to get you started. Thanks so much and uh, welcome. Have a great afternoon and uh, thanks for joining with Xanadu. Thanks everyone.